Now, remember, I've told you for nine years, white Al-Qaeda. I even said they're going to call it white Al-Qaeda. I know them. I, I study them. I'm like a criminologist following a serial killer for, for decades. I know their next move. I'm on record. And it may even be they just grab the terms I come up with. Like I told you about propaganda placement and uh, message placement and, uh, and, uh, and, 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 and police state placement. Now they even use those terms. So I don't know if it's chicken or the egg, which one came first. The point is, then about six years ago, white Al-Qaeda, white Al-Qaeda, white Al-Qaeda, white Al-Qaeda. Actually, I, now that I remember it, England started it nine years ago, so I saw them do it first. I didn't actually predict that. I'm going back to memory now. So it started there. I knew it was coming here. So that's going on. Then I get the manuals from police going, yeah, this is what they're telling us. The rural council to spy on neighbors, everything else. The, I knew from manuals that came in and, and sources that all over the country, mainly rural areas, they'll say, we're having a meeting at the uh, law enforcement center this weekend, free donuts and lunch. Anybody who's concerned about al-Qaeda and terror attacks, this happened right for 9-11 and since, we want you to come down to the meeting. And you get there, they show an al-Qaeda training video, and they say, okay, now let's get to McVeigh, let's get to Ron Paul supporters, let's get to gun owners, let's get to returning veterans. And most of the folks get upset and leave. They don't care. They find the people that want to be part of it. And I told you, they tried to recruit my dad, the other dentist he works with, not because he's my dad. They're doing it to any professionals, lawyers, uh, any type of uh, corporate CEO, even to small companies. They give them little cards. It's called InfraGuard. They've recruited now over 100,000 preachers. And they tell them, spy on your flock. Tell them, submit to government. Things are going to collapse. This has been going on for six years that we know of. The clergy response teams, just search that term. You'll see newscast after we reported it, uh, admitting, oh, it's great. They're, they're training to tell the flock to go to the camps. And it shows the preacher saying it's of the Lord to go to the camps. It's of the Lord to take the shots. Folks, I'm not joking. If you haven't seen us play that video here probably 20 times, just search clergy response teams on YouTube. You'll get it. It's also in Police State 4, Rise of FEMA, a little clips of the news. And so they've got the entire... Uh, grid set up over 90% of the training with police and military together under FBI command, under DHS command, and you go to these drills or I've been sent photos of the drills and video and, and, and the roster of the drills, it's got to be more than 95%. It's all people wearing feed, lot caps, dressed like rednecks, going, you're not taking my land! And then a bomb goes off and, and they tell the police, the farmers attacked us. So, so they're scripting it and putting farmers in the role that they're terrorists. The cops play the role and are, and are so weak-minded, they then now believe that farmers are going to blow them up. And so now it's okay with a heavy machine gun, they mow the farmers down. This was going on in 2002 at bases. I had contractors who were working at the base who shot video on top of the building. They were retiring. And they would not let me show the video. They came up to access. They showed it to me. The Marines at an Army base. And, and, and the people are like, no. And, and, of course, I shot some video myself at drills of similar things. We're Americans. Oh, no, please not the camp. And interrogating them and asking the role players, where'd you get the guns? Well, I got my gun in San Francisco. I mean, that's in Police Day 2000. But these guys showed me footage. And I said, please let me show this. They said, we'll come back maybe later. But they'll know we were contractors. And I said, I'll blow up the video where they can't tell you we're on the roof. And they said, no. We had to sign forms to be on the base. We can't do it. Then I got confirmed news articles where they train all the ROTCs around the country, including San Antonio, when they have drills in the local forest with the ROTC, the military, people in college to be officers. They always fight militias and anti-Federal Reserve people. So the entire, it's just like our in the Cold War, the military trained to fight the Russians. For at least 10 years, the military trains to fight the American people. If you're at prisonplanet.tv viewer, you'll be able to see it. If not, go to infowars.com. And the headline is, Big Sis Tries to Turn Minorities Against Whites by Labeling Them Terrorists. That's one of the articles. The other big article that's on Drudge is DSS, DHS video characterizes white Americans as most likely terrorists. And this is why I've always known that even if the government isn't staging the terror, and unfortunately the evidence is overwhelming, they are. It's ridiculous how much evidence there is. The entire... Uh, architecture of Homeland Security that, by the way, existed pre-9-11. You can got documents with Clinton setting it up at, uh, in Colorado in 1994 and, and speeches. Um, again, they always set something up before they roll it out years later. Um, 
the key here is that they've set up the entire architecture and the training and the drills for the American people. I only know of one drill, and I know about it because I had some family involved, out at Camp Mabry uh, a year ago, and the public was invited, where they had a guy with a Muslim turban on and the, and the fake beard and practiced killing some terrorists with some helicopters over there, and that was just for the public. Oh, look, we're killing the Muslims. But you go to the real internal drills. It is kill those U.S. militias. Take them out. Remember New York Times a couple years ago? We showed you the article. It said, Explorer Scouts Nationwide, it showed photos, trained to kill disgruntled vets. It's for you. It's for you. Let's say Al-Qaeda did 9-11 just for, j j just for laughs. Okay, fine. They've used it to set up a grid for the American people. And they're now telling minorities, who are the majority in most cities, hey, it's whitey, get him. And they're now rebranding that. So first they tell white racist, hey, give up your rights because it's only for the Muslims. Now they say, hey, give up your rights, blacks and Hispanics, it's for whitey. And when you're done, everybody loses their rights. This is how they compartmentalize and sell this. Let's play part of it. Some of it doesn't have audio, so I'll, I'll, I'll voice it while, it while it rolls, where it cuts to the new America, non-white, the good people, and then it cuts to the evil white. I'm going to come back with the rest of it. Oh, hey, I saw something out of the ordinary. I saw a U.S. government agent get a drugged-out black kid on the airplane uh, in Amsterdam. Uh, yeah, he didn't have a passport or anything, but they got him on the plane. Uh, shut up, uh, Mr. Haskell. We don't know anything about that. Uh, by the way, the firecracker blew up in his pants. I, I want to give you a report. Shut up, Mr. Haskell. Turned out it was all true. I want to report the government's the terrorist. DHS video characterizes white Americans as most likely terrorist. And then we are going to open the phones up. They're not open yet, but I'm going to open the phones up. Specifically, do you see through this? See, first they say, get rid of America's liberties because, you know, it's brown folks we want to go after. And so a lot of whites go, yeah, I'm scared of, of brown people. Even if you're not racist, some whites are so guilt-ridden they're scared. And so, okay, well, we're just taking the Muslims' rights or so the brown people's rights. And then now that they've got that in place, okay, now they're going to shift it over. No, it's the whitey. He's going to get you to get the minorities after it. And, and this nine-minute video goes on and on. You know, where 90% of the photos of the good people are, are, are quote, minorities. The, you know, there's only a few whites. And then the black guys reporting on the whites. And then G.I. Jane, her eyes, for, you know, shining blue, have been accentuated. I mean, clearly, as somebody that works in media and, and, and recognizes propaganda, this is off the chart. Then we have all the actual training manuals that law enforcement have given us, where it's all about Ron Paul, conservatives, libertarians, gun owners, patriots. And, and then they make it about being white because they say, and these people are probably racist. You see, so which then makes it racial. And so that's how they're always uh, injecting this and, you know, talking about McVeigh and Elohim City and the Oklahoma City bombing, but never getting into the fact that those were staged events. Uh, here's part of Paul Watson's article, and we'll come back with the rest of the video and my analysis of it. DHS video characterizes white Americans as most likely terrorist. Big sis fear campaign continues, but Americans are just as likely to be killed by peanut allergies than they are in terrorist attacks. A new promotional video released by the Department of Homeland Security characterizes white middle class Americans as the most likely terrorist. As Big Sis continues its relentless drive, we should add some articles where they talk about white Al Qaeda, the next threat. You know, we know what this is also because of the past scripting. As Big Sis continues its re relentless drive to cement the myth that mad bombers are hiding around every corner, when in reality Americans are just as likely to be killed by lightning strikes or peanut allergies. The video is part of a Homeland Security $10 million See Something, Say Something program that encourages Americans to report suspicious activity, which in every case throughout history has been a trait of oppressive dictatorial regimes. It's all about not trusting your fellow citizens, only trusting the big mommy government who's on record staging the terror attacks. In the course of a 10-minute clip, a myriad of different behavior and characterized as terrorism, including opposing surveillance. Oh, yeah, people that don't like being surveilled. Using a video camera. That's why cops come in your own yard and say you can't videotape them. T talking to police officers. Yeah, you don't talk to the godlike government. Wearing hoodies, driving vans. Uh writing on a piece of paper and using a cell phone recording application. And that's in manuals we got five years ago, the feds put out in the state of Texas. It said, 
having a cell phone, wearing blue jeans. I saw an AP article where it said, don't just trust that priest or that woman with a baby carriage. They may be the terrorists. It's about everybody's a terrorist. First, they start with the unpopular Muslims. Then they move on to, 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 to blacks in America. Then they move on to the whiteies. Uh, continuing uh, here. Despite encouraging viewers not to pay attention to a person's race in determining whether or not they may be a terrorist, almost all the scenarios in the clip proceed to portray white people as the most likely terrorist. You know, they show like one 9-11 hijacker. Bizarrely, nearly every single one of the patriotic Americans who reports on their fellow citizens is either black, Arab, or Asian. Again, this is all heavily scripted. They decide all of this stuff beforehand. Imagine if the video portrayed every terrorist as an Arab and every patriotic snoop is white, there'd be an outcry, and rightly so. But this strange reversal must have been deliberate on the part of the DHS. But why? Is this merely political correctness taken to the extreme, or is this something deeper at work? Well, we have all the training manuals. I'm going to finish up with this article, and then I'm going to go to, to a lot more of the clip. But it just goes on and on and on. This is everything we predicted, everything we told you was going to happen. We'll be right back. Stay with us. This for years, that first governments throughout history get rid of the country's liberties and freedoms by going after an unpopular minority group. Hitler, it was the Jews, communists, stuff like that. Here, it was the Muslims. The system stages the events, provocateurs, nutcases. It's a whole grab bag of different types of provocateur terror. Then they build the architecture of the police state for the general public. So they have white audiences where they say, we're going after the brown people. And they go to the brown audiences and they say, we're going after the white people. And that's what this nearly 10-minute Department of Homeland Security video does. But it's worse than that. We have all the different training manuals sent to us by police and military over the years that we've published and have made national news. Homeland Security, my act, the list goes on and on. And in the training, over 90% is for what? Remember a few years ago, veterans seen as the number one terror threat returning home? Remember a few months ago, okay, finally Congress voted for health care for the military, police, and fire veterans in 9-11, but you got to go through a terror database every time you get your health care? They're setting that precedent. Ron Paul supporters, Bob Barr supporters, people that like America, freedom to fascism, uh, people that like Alex Jones, this is in the different manuals. And then they say these groups are connected to racism. So they make it about being white by saying, oh, they're connected to white supremacists when there's no connection. Meanwhile, Hal Turner, one of the top Nazis, it turns out in federal court, high-level FBI operative for decades, working, of course, with Sean Hannity. Um, that came out. Just look up Hal Turner, Sean Hannity. Very bizarre. These people are operatives. By the way, that's in the news today that they ran black op intelligence systems, London uh, Telegraph reports, uh, that News Corps... Um, its division in England was running black op intelligence operations and their reporters were basically uh, private contractor agents working with MI6. Of course they are, ladies and gentlemen. What, do you know about Operation Mockingbird here in the United States? I mean, we're in deep, 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 deep trouble. And so they branded the war on terror with we're taking the rights away, but we're only going to enforce it on the evil Muslims, in quotes. Now it's, oh my gosh, the white Al-Qaeda. And in every one of the scenarios, except one in a 10-minute video, it's, quote, minorities, Asians, blacks, Hispanics, reporting on the evil whites. And uh, it just goes on and on and on.